Gauchos, and welcome to another episode of Gaucho TV. Uh, before we get into this week's, so I got my top five for you in this week. It's going to be the top five most expensive breakfast items, at least the top five ones I could find. Uh, number five is the Zillion Dollar Frittata uh, from Norma's at La Parker Meridian Hotel in New York. It's $1,000, and it's uh, eggs, lobster, and caviar. So not only is it expensive, it's also disgusting. Uh, number four... Uh, also in New York, at New York's Weston Hotel, the uh, $1,000 bagel, which is a $1,000 bagel, uh, topped with white truffle cream cheese, goji berry infused Riesling jelly, and gold leaves. Because nothing says, I have too much money, like edible gold. Number three uh, is tea. Uh, specifically, I'm going to massacre this pronunciation, Taiganyin, Taiganyin tea. Uh, it's $1,500 a pound. It's a rare Chinese oolong tea, uh, but you can find it occasionally, although in very small and expensive amounts. Um, number two, uh, coffee maker. It's not a breakfast item you eat, but you need it to make coffee. And I thought $2,000 seemed like a lot to pay. Uh, this is the DeLonghi Prima Donna 6600. Uh, and, and this can vary by size, because you could, of course, buy an industrial cappuccino machine that would be like you know $10,000 for your house. But I'm just talking about a, a freestanding coffee maker, not unlike a Mr. Coffee, which you can usually get at Walgreens for about mm, 14 bucks. So, or you could spend two grand and get this. Seems like too much, doesn't it? Okay, and number one is coffee. And uh, of course, no breakfast would be complete without coffee. And so specifically, this coffee I thought was pretty gregariously expensive and kind of weird. It's uh, Kopi Luwak, and it's $600 a pound or about $50 a cup. And you see this animal next to me? This is a, an Indonesian palm civet. And these Indonesian palm civets eat the red, raw coffee berry and partially digest it, and then excrete it. And that excrement is harvested and brewed for coffee. No joke. Uh, it makes you just want to get out a, a Folgers pack and just brew up a nice, regular, not... Didn't involve this guy. Anyway, uh, I, I got a whole bunch more gaucho casts on the way, so... Stick around. Hey gauchos, you caught me on the way heading to the mall. Why am I heading to the mall? Well, to get jeans. Why am I going to get jeans? Well, because now's a great time to buy jeans if you know what to look for and you know how to shop smart. Otherwise, you end up spending way too much money on something that's trendy and you're not gonna dig in a little while. And how much is too much? Well, it, it's funny because I've been breaking out the prices on jeans because you know what? I wanna shop smart when I go out and shop. So I checked online. now. If you're familiar with trendy jeans, there's there's Seven and True Religion. Those are like the two hot ones. And Seven jeans can vary anywhere between like $25 and $200 when you're shopping online. Uh, True Religion, I found anywhere from $87, starting at $87 and going up to $570. Uh, and I checked on Amazon and just Amazon for jeans for men or women start around 15 bucks. You can find a pair for 15, that doesn't include shipping and goes up to 320 bucks, and that's for, ironically, a pair of True Religion. Or I think, yeah, it was True Religion or Seven. Either way, uh, so I went and checked The Gap, because normally I get my jeans at The Gap, uh, and those can vary, they start around 20, 25 bucks. That's a standard price, they can go up to the 50s, but if you're smart, you wait for deals, you usually find them for around 20 to 25. Same thing with Old Navy. I checked uh, Macy's for Levi's because that's pretty much my standard. I go for Levi's 505s. Those you're going to find for around 35 bucks. So here's my quick philosophy on jeans. You can get trendy jeans. They're going to be super expensive. They're not going to last very long. And you're going to be like, wow, I really don't look very good in these. Or you can spend a little bit of cash on a classic look, be able to wear it for a long time, and the value is quintupled, quadrupled, sextupled, maybe. I guess. Uh, let me give you an idea of what I mean. So I checked Macy's.com, nine pair of 505, Levi's 505s at $32.99. You can get nine pair of those or one pair of True Religion, uh, what was it? Ricky Dark Sundown Jeans from Neiman Marcus. So you've got nine pair, and really nine's probably more than you need, or one pair of $290 Ricky Dark Sundown True Religion jeans that don't even really look very good. If you can take a look. Eh. I mean, sure, the model makes them look okay, but how are those going to really look? 
in unflattering light. Hard to say. So uh, I ran into Target to see what they had available uh, because they carry Wrangler and they carry uh, actually a few brands. And I was able to find they carry a Levi's uh, co-brand called Signature Series by Levi's and picked up a pair for 20 bucks, $19.99, got a pair of loose fit straight leg jeans in a nice wash, $20. That's a pretty good deal. That's better than I was able to find at The Gap and probably on par with Old Navy, but they're Levi's construction, so feel better about it. I guess the moral of the story is don't get suckered in. You'll see these jeans and you'll see the people on TV pushing that you got to wear the trendy jeans. And that's because, of course, they want to. They've got an ad budget. They're selling their jeans for 180 bucks a pair. Are you getting $180 of value out of those jeans? Probably not. And are these jeans that you want to wear when you're actually working around the house? Again, probably not. So my suggestion, go find a cheap pair of Levi's and wear them until they fall apart. That's usually what I do. And it's worked out pretty well for me, I think. I don't know. I'm wearing a pair right now. All right, uh, before we wrap up this week's episode of Gaucho TV, I have one last jeans trick to show you. All right, here's the new pair of jeans. Let's say you uh, want to try on a pair of jeans, but you don't have time, but you see a pair you like, and you need to get an idea if they'll fit or not. Take the jeans like this, closed up, wrap them around your neck, and if they meet in the back or overlap a little bit, they'll fit. Uh, because your waist should be twice your neck circumference. Interesting. I learned that from an uh, old school retail guy. And uh, it works. Works for me anyway. So give it a shot and check it out. You'll be amazed at how well it works. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it for this week's. I uh, just want to let you know um, I'll have more news about the Gaucho iPhone and iPod Touch app. I'm going to be beta testing that this week. Also, uh, the live show. Gaucho TV Live is going to be back on. Thursday the 25th of this month, so tune in for that. And if you have any questions or show topic ideas, leave them on the Gaucho forums. Just say, hey Marv, and I will get those. And uh, that's about it, I think. So uh, tune in next time for more Gaucho TV, and I will see you then.